Josh Stevenson of Blue Ribbon Bait here uh, with Grizz, the legendary angler and Hall of Fame in National and Minnesota. Yep. Pretty sweet. We're going to talk about what we need to do to get you to catch fish without bait fishing for northern pike. So Grizz is going to go over some of his top favorite things for catch northern pike pretty much Canada. Anywhere. Also, anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. So hey. go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, one of my number one choices is a number eight rattling wrap. I use that on anywhere, any lake I can go on, I'll guarantee you you'll get a fish, but you gotta, there again is a technique, I run like 10 pound uh, suffix uh, clear line on about a six six foot, I don't know, not the rod, you know, uh, medium heavy, I guess, and, and uh, troll four to five miles an hour, you know, and if you, when you're trolling, you know, you just don't make a straight line, especially if it's flat out, because when it's flat, sometimes the fish spook from the boat, so I make big loops like that. Oh, and yeah. the guy on the inside, on my side of the boat, if I go to the left, I'll catch fish as I'm dragging that bait across where they spooked away from the boat when you're going straight. That's on a quiet day. When it's windy, you can just put her in the gear and let her go. Then you go straighter when it's windy. Yep. Oh, four, that's a great, that's four, a great tip. Four and a half to five miles an hour. Then, uh, well... Do you ever cast those rapples? No. Uh, rattling I, rapples? You I mainly troll, always troll I, them. I, okay. Mille Leech Lake, Winnebagosh, any white bear, I don't care where you go. You, yeah. troll the, you troll the structure, you'll get fish. Guaranteed. Yeah, and, I've seen your results. He catches lots of big pike. And, and uh, well, then, you know, if you like to cast, you know, you get up in a, you know, shallow eight, seven, eight, ten feet of water. Uh, spinner baits work real good for pike. And you know you can even put a trailer on there, or, you know, a twister tail or whatever to dress it up a little more if you need it. Then, uh, well, the old reliables here, the old red and white daredevil, that be in my arsenal for pike. That's been around for a hundred years, and <laughs> these here work black and black and uh, white is a good one, or red and white. And the side, you know, the back, you, you got I think a uh, silver on the back. Some of them are got a what is that? The gold color in there. And you know that works. That's again seven, eight feet of water. You ever weed line. Tip those two, or no. you, you just pretty much just yep. go right with the spoon. Yeah. yeah, make sure you put a leader on, of course. And, yeah. Because you'll over jump the leader and take your bait. So. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. No, <laughs> not only that, these will twist your line up. And the old red-eyed, whoop, the okay. old red-eyed wiggler, wiggler that, that thing here, that that's been around since forever, just like the daredevil, and that's taken a lot of pike. So. You know, that's another... That's all these old spoons still work really good, right? Yeah, now. oh yeah. Like Lazy Ikes and stuff like that, they still work, but nobody uses them, you know? So, yeah. You know, they get into this other stuff, but oh, anyway, this stuff still works, and then then I go sometimes, I use a counter reel, a rapala, and... Uh, original the, floater. Yeah, the, the original, original floater, floater, yeah. And I run a... Well, this here is a good color here. Black and silver is a good one, you know, they're all good. That uh, hot tiger is really a good one, and well, I run I run on my counter reel when the weeds ain't real bad. You can run this bait, which I do. I can get up in the seven to seven to ten feet of water. I get, on the counter reel, I'm running out oh, 75 feet behind the boat. Then uh, if I swing out in the ten feet, I'll let it out to 100. That's a technique that I come up and I use these in a lot of metro lakes too, you know, and it works. So. You're trolling that one too a lot. Yeah, yeah, but you ain't going four and a half miles an hour, you're going about two and a half. So about half the speed as you did with the rattling ramp. Right, yep. So that's as, if you like the northern fish, you do that, you'll catch northern, so. Two great lures to troll and a bunch of other ones to cast. Is there anything else you want to add about northern pike fishing? Well, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure, I love yeah. it. Well, thanks for the tips, Grizz. And yeah. how can people reach you if they want to hire you as a guide? Uh, area code 651-771-6231 or look me on the internet, uh, fishwithgrizz.com. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much.